Hey, Martin here at Time and Space. It's going to give you a run through the new ToonTrack product manager. This gives you one interface to download your ToonTrack products, updates, and authorize all your ToonTrack software, which makes life a lot easier and a lot quicker. You can also download ToonTrack Superior Drummer and the Yestex is in full now through this interface, which saves you a lot of time. So let's get going. You go to the ToonTrack website. Uh, if it's your first time going on here, you'd have to create an account. Otherwise, just log in. Uh, and then when you go to My Products, uh, you can register a product on the register page. And once you have titles registered, if you go to My Products, you've got the Product Manager. So let's get this downloading. Now, once it's downloaded, we can run the installer for it. The first time you open it, it'll ask you to enter a name for the machine. And it won't keep asking you every time you go to do something on this one computer, so it just saves you a bit of time. So if I name this one Studio Mac, um, add that in, and I can log into my ToonTrack account. Once I'm logged in, it will scan through and show me all the products I have in my ToonTrack account. Uh, you can also see on the right here that we've got a category system here, so you can quite quickly get between what it is you're looking at. So I've got Easy Drum at the top, Easy Keys, Easy Mix, uh, expansion MIDI packs for the drums, superior line, and then this two track software. If I go to the superior line, I can now download superior drummer and all the SDXs in full. For example, the progressive foundry here. If I hit download product, you'll see it's downloading 62 gigabytes. And it gives you an estimate of how long it will take to download. Bear in mind, this is a very large, and at the moment, this is the largest of the two track SDXs. So it'll take a little while to download, but it's quite nice. You can just get it going. Uh, if you want to download more than one, you can hit more than one at a time, and then obviously you can just pause it if you want to have priority over one of the other. I can go down to here and see not installed products. I can go through and actually have a look at all the other things I have registered that are available for me to download from my TuneTrack user account. I can also register new products directly inside this interface. So next time I buy something, I can go in and register straight into here. Um, and register it and it will just allow me to download it straight through this interface don't have to worry about going back and forth to different websites logging in and out for example easy number two I can download you can download multiple things at once and it shows you on the left hand side here what things you have downloading so if I want to download an expansion kit as well so drop it from hell it now shows me that I have two files downloading and it tells me how long I've got a guesstimate on each one Now that Easy Drummer has finished downloading, I can go into the page and you can see I now have a four step process. Uh, so I can go into install product, which will initialize the install file. Great, now it's finished downloading and installing. It's now allowing me to authorize. It also shows here now that I've got an update available. But I should better authorize first. So if I go through to authorize, it's at this point where if you don't have any authorizations left, it will prompt you with what you can do with regards to freeing up one of the authorizations. You're allowed to have two active authorizations per serial for two track products and a maximum of four in total. So if you get a new computer or you have two computers, you can have two of them running at the same time, like a laptop and a studio. If you get a new laptop, you can go in and deactivate the one off your laptop and put it onto a new laptop. So then you've still got two active computers, but you can have up to four in total um, uh, activations. So now I'm authorized. I can go to updates, and you can see here that I actually have a new update available for each drummer too. So if I just hit that, it will then download the update available. Great. Now that it's downloaded. I can hit install updates. This then launches the installer. There we go. I've now downloaded Easy Drummer 2, authorized it, and run all the updates, all inside the ToonTrack product manager. I can then go in again and go to free up disk space, and it shows me the two download files that I don't need anymore, which was the original downloader and the update patch. So I can now clean this up and remove the downloaded files that no longer needed. It also tells you on the side here if what 
products you have installed and also what of those products need updates. So I click the button here, it will then just start downloading those patch updates for the products I have currently installed that need updating. Right, now it's finished downloading my Metal Machine updates, I can hit Install Updates. And I can choose which one I want to install. It saves a lot of time having to go in and out finding all the download parts for doing your updates for your TuneTrack products. I can always pick up to here and it tells me up here what's not up to date so I don't ever lose track of how far I got. So there you have it, that's using the new TuneTrack product manager. Hopefully you find this interface useful. Um, just remember to check back every now and again for future product updates. If you want more information please check out our website at www.timespace.com. Thank you.